Scientists have found that certain foods have healing powers. And they've also found that when you eat certain foods together, you even get more bang for your buck, so to speak. So what are these superfoods? Elaine McGee is the author of a book called Food Synergy, and Elaine is here to tell us all about it. So my idea of synergy is that we combine different things. When you combine two superfoods, it makes a super, super food. Super, super. It's all about one. And it one, keeps you healthy. It does. It's, it's one plus one equals four instead okay. of two. That these different components that are found in the same food sometimes or in different foods work together in your body for maximum health benefit. Okay. Let's, let's talk about whole grains first. Okay. Let's go down the line because we've got a little show and tell. What do we mean by whole grains and why is that a super Just food? switching to whole grains. Whole grains have a lot of synergy within it. Okay. It's got the fiber. It's got phytochemicals that work together. Okay. So if we just have three servings of whole grains a day, it benefits your body ten different ways. And we're really talking about four, the four chronic diseases, redu reducing the risk of cancer, heart mm -hmm. disease, stroke, and diabetes. Okay. So the, the whole grains are very, very good for us. It's, it's a huge step. Just to do that. You say become voracious vegetarian. Well, voracious, for, voracious vegetables. for vegetables. Yeah, not vegetarian, more, so. more, is, more is better in this case. That's um, broccoli. That's like a hairy tree. I say it all the time. <laughs> I have what? trouble with the texture, but it's so good for you. It, it's so good. And, and sometimes people just don't like it because it's been overcooked. So mm -hmm. even eating it raw, putting it in your salads, you know, throwing it in with your pasta. Um, and those are the dark green vegetables are just packed with antioxidants. Of course, the whole time we talk about these, we really want to start combining these too, right? Well, there's combinations within these. Like one of the combinations we talk about in the book is tomatoes uh -huh. and and broccoli have synergy together. together. Those the components within them reduce okay. prostate tumor growth, uh, you know, astronomically versus if you just had the broccoli and the tomatoes okay. separately. All right. You say a handful of nuts every day? A handful of nuts. And what kind? Is there a certain kind you want to stay away from? No, not necessarily, really? but the two kind of standouts, mainly because there's a lot of research on it, are the almonds and the walnuts. Okay. But all, all nuts have uh, a lot of phytochemicals that are advantageous and monounsaturated fats. Hmm. It's kind of like a, you know, a smart, a heart smart snack right okay. there. You say drink green tea. Yes. And it's more and more on the shelves, but we're getting that kind of watered down and sugared down when we buy it in the store sometimes. Absolutely. We? And, and you know, for people that aren't crazy about the green tea flavor, mm -hmm. experiment with some flavored green teas. Right. I, I love this topic. You can tropical. infuse it with your own. Absolutely. Yeah. And iced tea, you can have iced green tea. And it's just, here's the thing, the, the half-life of the phytochemicals that are so amazing in green tea are about three hours. So having a little bit of green tea in the morning and some again at night, you're in like Flynn. Okay, you talk a lot in your book about olive oil yes. and, and the benefits of olive oil as opposed to any other kind of oil. Well, canola is my other favorite because okay. it's high in plant omega-3s. Okay. But this came up a lot in the book because it has 30 plus phytochemicals in the olive. And you're getting all of those together. And, and also, olive oil has synergy with other foods like fish. And you know, right. actually, you know, serving fish with you can monounsaturated use it with fats. It. You can use this with almost everything on the table. Here. Absolutely, and, and it's really about switching. It's starting to make those changes. So you say eat fish what three times a week? Three to, uh, two to three times a week, and even canned tuna will will suffice. That has omega threes too. But here's the thing, uh, fish and uh, has benefits toward decreasing cognitive decline. Mm -hmm. and, and in a recent study, they found that low fat fish had uh, had just as many benefits as the higher fat fishes that have more omega threes. Wow. So there's synergy within fish. There's something going on in fish that helps us with cognitive decline apart from the omega-3. Like so there's, the there's synergy going on. Tune into tomatoes. Tomatoes. Uh, tomatoes have the three omega, uh, I call them the three amigos, and it's beta carotene and other carotenes, mm -hmm. vitamin C mm -hmm. and vitamin E. And you would keep the skin on and eat skin the skin. Skin on. Here's the thing we don't know, I mean that people don't know. The lion's share of the antioxidant phytochemicals are in the tomato peel. Uh. And if you cooked the tomato, your body is able to absorb those helpful nutrients way better and have a little bit of smart fat with those tomatoes so at the same time. These two. And, and you're good. I'd yeah. eat nuts with all of them. We have one last thing really quick. You say seek out citrus. The citrus is really good for you. We're, we're talking about lemons, we're talking about oranges, we're talking about limes. Yes, uh, high in vitamin C, of course, but a whole mm. lot of other phytochemicals that work together with these, uh, some of these other foods. Fantastic. Hey, Elaine, good job. Thanks for Isn't having me. Isn't this fun on. stuff? I mean, we learn a lot when we do this show. This is, again, <laughs> the name of Elaine's book. Elaine McGee's book is called Food Synergy. That's right, the things we're talking about, you put them together and it's available at bookstores everywhere.